Thanks to my internet not being very good, I wasn't able to do a stream today. Or, well, I was able to do a stream today, but it was infrequent and didn't stay up for very long. So instead, let's do a showcase run of the Spartan Sandals. When the stream was up, I had somebody suggest that, and I thought, you know, sure. This is a weird weapon to use. For the longest time, considered something of a joke weapon because of how slow, weak, and completely useless against bosses and elite enemies it was. I mean, anytime you tried to kick a boss or elite enemy, it just acted as if they were made of plutonium and they went nowhere. So, outside of fighting regular enemies, which, I mean, gravity is a harsh mistress in this game, and if you kick an enemy off of a ledge, they will almost assuredly die, for example, right here. That's not... The fact that then you would have to fight a boss with... Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Essentially, you'd have to fight a boss with a slow, weak melee weapon. It was it was just bad times all around. I mean, you might as well have just taken the, the starter sword and swung it once for every five times you would normally swing it. That's how, how bad this thing was. However, now it's been reworked. It uh, works against bosses and elite enemies so that you can actually get some of that good fall damage on them. But it also now does extra damage when you hit enemies against the walls, which is probably going to come up quite a few times in any one of the, the fights that I'm coming up against. So it's, it's better. Is it worth using? Well, that's yet to see. I'm still not sure if that is quite the case yet. It's, I mean, better, of course, doesn't mean like, good. They have improved the swarm, for example, a lot, and I still think that that's kind of not the best weapon. <laughs> and really, I, I do at least appreciate that there is an attempt. I do appreciate that there is at least an attempt to try to make this weapon work. I mean, especially knowing that for a long time, it was really a, a, a joke. Well, there was even a short amount of time that it was considered a, a shield in the game. You could get Spartan Sandals for your for your default starting shield, which was nonsense. I mean, yeah, hitting enemies around is pretty defensive focused, and it can also hit away grenades and everything like that, but that's... <laughs> to consider it a shield is just ridiculous. But now they're trying to turn that around, make it a viable weapon. And I like that. I, I do think that every weapon in the game should be one that, if it has the right affixes, if you, you know, and encounter it at the right level, that it is still workable. Regardless of what your build is, every weapon should be viable in one way or another. There's only one exception for that, I'd like to say, and that's, yeah, Berserker could work well. Especially if I'm knocking enemies off ledges and killing them. Well, anyway, that's, uh, that's Curse Sword. Curse Sword knows exactly what it is. It knows exactly what it's doing. If you take a Curse Sword, you know what kind of time you're in for. A bad one. <laughs> and that's, that's really the only exception. Everything else shouldn't be considered like a joke or a challenge. Overpower definitely does uh, come up with some weapons a lot. But I would much rather have that than a weapon that is unusable. And I do think there's a real attempt to try to have that happen with Dead Cells and how it does its whole thing. Yep. Let's just do this. Speaking of another fairly useless weapon, Magnetic Grenade is going to be pretty good when it comes to countering a lot of bombers, being that it now uh, counters that as well. In fact, that's probably a good reason to get into the Prison Deaths this time. Multiple ways to take care of that most irritating irritation, the hammer. Are they called hammers or are they called spider robots still? I don't I don't actually know. Names of things change so much. Uh But anyway, yeah, it's a it's something it's a type of game design I appreciate a lot. Cuz after all, it's like ideally everything would be well balanced, but if you can at least prevent things from being completely worthless, that's at least a start. So anyway, aside from that, I think, yeah, like I said, 
going to be mostly a traditional run. I don't want to mess around too much lest this weapon becomes, you know, revealed as not being very good. But we'll see. Maybe I can start to go into a little bit more of a, a riskier situation, riskier biomes and areas later on. Take more curse chests and everything if I... I mean, I'm going to be taking all the curse chests anyway. What am I even saying? I always do. <laughs> Late game boss cell difficulties are almost built with the idea that you're going to be taking curse chests in mind. And with a slowish weapon like this, that's not great, but I'll, I'll, I'll deal. What do we got here? Plus 15%. I mean, not bad. I don't think it's worth it, though. I think I'm probably going to get more use out of you than the oil grenade, for example. I do have a whole suite of weapons unlocked. There's nothing really in particular that I think is going to work well with Spartan Sandals versus anything else. So it's just a lot of very good... There we go. So just a lot of very good brutality-based weapons right now. See how they kind of work together. Including ones that I wouldn't normally take, like the Magnetic Grenade, because I want to try to screw around a little bit. This is an experimentation type of run. Trying to work with it uh, with something different and see if I can find any cool new strategies here. Bam. And that's also why I purposely didn't take the Hokuto's Bow, because I knew. I knew that if I took the Hokuto's Bow, I was just going to turn it into a damage over time run. And I just did that last time. We don't need to see that again. Of course. And then I got hit again. Come on now. But it is it is very easy to take something like a flamethrower turret and a, a knife storm and just, eh, you know, maybe forget about using the, the actual main hand whole gimmick of the run for a huge portion of it. And come on, I don't want to do that to my good old pals, the Spartan Sandals. They've already had it so rough as it is, they don't need any more. I also do like uh, kicking weapons. Kicking weapons, I think, are just fun. I, I would... Ooh, take that. I would definitely be using stuff like the Hayabusa boots and the Spartan sandals more if I knew that they were very good and worth using. Because as of right now, I've still got kind of the idea in my mind that they're just not very worthwhile to take. Oh, do I want to take this? Sure, I'll do it. I'll do it for a lot of extra health. Just Well, actually, that's not a whole lot of extra health. That's, that took away a decent amount of health. Oh, well, maybe that was the wrong decision to make then. Only time will tell. Ow. But yeah, yeah, kicking weapons are cool. And spiked boots are actually really great weapons. I mean, there's almost no point in time when an enemy is not attacking you, so you're able to get criticals constantly. It's just Hayabusa boots don't have that, and Spartan Sandals had, well, like I said, issues for a very long time. Definitely something else that uh, contributed to the idea that they were a joke weapon was the fact that they were maybe one of, if not the first weapon that you managed to unlock after, what, the Blood Sword or so? Because uh, it is a 100% drop from the runner enemies. So, you're more likely to see that, you know, just going through the promenade as long as you're killing enemies uh, diligently than any other blueprint in the game. And only five cells to unlock? Why wouldn't you? And then you get this weak, terrible melee weapon that is pretty useless. I mean, it's that sort of thing that really makes me imagine why uh, people... <laughs> that, that, that makes me think that's why people were talking about uh, being able to relock weapons and, you know, set the stage for custom mode to eventually come out. Because the first thing you unlocked was Spartan Sandals. <laughs> they were also, uh, had a reference to 300 back in the day. Which I definitely, I remember the first time that I did this run, took exception to being that that movie came out in, like, 2006, and we're still doing the memes from it? Motion Twin, what are you doing? Well, of course, all quotes from weapons are gone now. Which makes me ask myself, well, is it worth it if you don't get any more quotes? And the answer is kind of, we did get rid of bad 300 memes, so... 
I'm gonna have to say yes. I'm sorry. It's worth it if we get rid of uh, this is far. <laughs> anyway, let's just get on with the game here. So, uh, next weapon, look forward to Hayabusa boots. It's not that I hate them or anything, it's just that I don't think they're very good weapons. Okay. And not a very good kick, but hey. Like I said, gravity does a lot of damage. It's no surprise that Motion Twin wanted to do this sort of thing, considering that enemies taking fall damage and everything... Okay, come on now. Enemies taking fall damage is a thing in the game and has been forever. But now it's actually a mechanic that you that you use, or at least that's what I would think Motion Twin was saying when they originally created the Spartan Sandals. They came out in, what, the Elemental update, I think, alongside the Knockback or Shield or Shove Shield, I really cannot remember the name of that. Uh, the Impaler, I think the Wrenching Whip was there too. All a lot of stuff really based around the whole uh, moving around enemies type of gimmick. And of course, the whole moving around enemies type gimmick was not very good due, because, again, didn't really work on any of the the things that you'd actually want it to work on. And stuff like the wrenching whip, I still am not entirely sure what the use case for the the original version of that would be. But that I don't know. <laughs> it eventually got a good critical, so there's that. But yeah, yeah, it's it's just introducing a new type of gimmick here, trying to make it work. Didn't really work because it didn't want it to be too overpowered, but then it was too underpowered. It was a weird time in Dead Cells. After all, that was the point in time where getting enough uh, in a stat would basically turn it into... You could one-shot bosses and everything at that point in time. Stats were weird. Motion Twin had to figure out a way to convince people to not hoard so much money at all points in time, doing stuff like adding scrolls to shops. That was the point in time where there were actual uh, shops that you could just buy necklaces in. Something that has not existed for a very long time. <laughs> oh, nice. Getting enemies kicked against walls and then getting extra damage on them after that. And then getting extra damage from knocking them off after that. Pretty good stuff. So yeah, there was a... It was a pretty experimental... It was a pretty experimental time. That was also where my favorite example of that came from. The Assassin's Dagger and the Phaser. Two things based around hitting enemies in the back. And I do think that they definitely have their uses. But it's still an, unu an unusual and not often seen type of mechanic that just got... A couple weapons introduced at the very start, and then... What, it wasn't until the... The Rise of the Giant, or maybe the the full release version of the game, that they added in a plus 15%... Ugh, when you backstab an enemy, and that's the only time that that's been seen since. Of course, that's a great thing about Dead Cells. There's a lot of attempts at balance, there's a lot of change-ups to how things work. It's a game that evolves a lot over time. I mean, really, it's one of my favorite things about it. Always something new to talk about, you know? But still, that doesn't mean that some weird stuff doesn't occasionally slip through the cracks. And, you know, clearly overpowered stuff and everything like that. On top of everything. As much as I, li I would like to see... Kind of want to, but I... Don't. <laughs> no, let's just say no. I'll take another drag on the potion if I need it. I don't think it's worth uh, cursing myself right now just to get a little bit of extra healing. Now, it might be after that happens, but... Um, yeah. Cool. But yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We're, we're, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it now. And there we go. That should take care of you. And that should, sure, 75% damage reduction and everything sounds peach keen. All right, curse me up. Hopefully I can deal with this just fine, but we'll see. Uh, yes, yes, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I would rather have things be overpowered than underpowered, especially in a game like this that's so difficult. 
Besides, I'll take any advantage that I can possibly get when it comes to dead cells, after all. This is a hard game! <laughs> Ugh, I just do not like this at all. Alright, let's just set enemies on fire. Do a little bit of... Uh, you know, hit and run type of tactics. I think is going to be the best way to go about doing this. And that is going to include, say, hitting enemies on top of enemies. Which is, of co as always, very fun. And oh yes, I shouldn't remember that. I, I shouldn't forget that uh, one of the th one of the weird little gimmicks about maybe the only thing that for the longest time made there we go made the magnetic grenade something interesting is the fact that it can hit enemies through walls, which is a real weird type of ability. Something that I think only it can do. I don't know if there's any other way to hit enemies through walls except for maybe something like a using the homunculus rune, and even then, that's not really the same thing. You do have to guide the, the slime ball to your enemy, but after that, it, I guess it kind of counts. Well, anyway, knocking back grenades definitely makes it a lot more worthwhile, especially on, like, 5-cell mode, where uh, an enemy sniping me from a distance has been the cause of quite a few deaths, so... If I can kind of stop that from happening in any way, that's just going to be only so much more helpful. Unfortunately, I don't think it... Actually, that's something. Uh, Motion Twin, if you're listening, and I know you are, uh, think about making it so the magnetic grenade can kind of uh, nullify stuff like the, the electric whip around enemies or the electric field or anything like that. You know, just for like that extra little bit of defense... No, forget about this. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, this is a pretty slow and kind of awkward weapon. I'm not going to be... Alright, well, without the ability to kick these dudes into walls, that's not really going to be happening. Uh, yeah, it's it's just not, not the ideal circumstance to be taking care of one of those guys. Having to, like, kick, kick the crystals individually and then try to kick the enemy somewhere? No. Ooh, legendary weapon. Very nice. And yeah, chaining enemies into walls is definitely pretty good. You get a lot of uh, stun time there, and you also get a lot of... You also get a lot of extra damage on that, too. I don't know if there's like a little cooldown before you're able to do extra damage against enemies, but... I suppose... I don't like that at all. This is more of a hit enemies off of edges type of scenario. All right. Slowly. I do like that for some reason the uh, throw a grenade ethics that I have on my shoes are also working. Oh, very nice. I mean, hey, let's be honest. It's almost the same thing as Firebrand, except uh, now it's actually scaling with a proper stat for, the, for its whole uh, crimson ability here. I'm going to try it out. I think this is something that could uh, could become quite the mainstay in this build. I know before I said that I explicitly didn't take stuff like Hokuto's bow or Boy's axe, so that I wasn't using super overpowered stuff. But um, can you blame me? When the when the world just gives you a present, it's like who are you to say no? Take that away from me. Nope. Okay, come on. You can't just can't just keep doing the. The, the 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 gimmicky thing over and over. That's not how this run should go. Even if this that's how this run is going, that's not how it should go. There we go. I'll just use this as mostly a way to set up some... I mean, stuns is pretty nice. Uh, set up some bleeding is great, too. And, you know, maybe just get, like, a little bit of, if necessary, range damage. I mean, that's kind of what I was using uh, the the Firebrands for anyway. I'd like to say that it's almost the same thing. That stun is also going to help just in general for uh, making... Okay, then. For making sure that I can get up to an enemy and start kicking it. After all, one of the things with this weapon is that it has a fairly short range, <laughs> obviously. And it's not like it's going to get any better over time. But until then, 
as they say on Fresh Prince Bel Air, might as well kick it. Might as well kick it. <laughs> I can't do it. Ooh. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get... Uh, didn't think that I was actually going to get uh, the dodge there. I'm I'm happy that I did, though. What do we got? I think that I, I'm doing just fine for bleed at this point in time. Now, the only thing... The only problem with this run so far is just... That I'm not really... There's not really much for uh, synergies going on. I mean, these are all helpful in their own way, but they're not really working together in a clear sort of... Uh, they're not coming together to really create a, a spectacular run. Maybe I won't need that. Maybe I'll... I mean, I'm going through the depths. I'm getting a couple extra stats as it is. Maybe that's not going to be a problem. I want to see what the flamethrower turret has to offer. I, it's pretty all right. I'll take it. A little bit more consistent damage, and I mean, even though you can't actually uh, haul around turrets with your homunculus rune anymore, there's still a good chance that I'll get some form of inflammable oil and take out a decent amount of enemies. I mean, I'm gonna always be grouping up enemies a ton anyway, so. Might as well kick it. You ever listen to the uh, extended version of the Fresh Prince Bel Air theme? It's a good one. All, all I remember from it is something about like drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass, and and Will Smith saying, "Yo, this is bad." But uh, still, an important song for an important generation. What does that mean? I don't I don't know. I'm just saying stuff. Anyway. I, uh, that dude resists. Ooh, that's a good way to take care of those guys. Because I don't think they're going to dodge around the hemorrhage. So that I can get a stun and then kick, kick, and it dodged anyway. All right, all right. I do think you get a little teeny tiny bit of damage for... Yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh, well. You do get like a little teeny tiny bit of extra damage for when enemies are kicked up in the air, but it's not too much or anything. So I don't really... I'm not going to be relying on that for any extra damage. That said, this is definitely the place. I mean, maybe like here, ramparts, the five cell area, places where you have a lot of very large and in charge type of uh, uh, vantage points to be knocking enemies off of into into the abyss going to be just the, the the best place for using the spartan sandals and ossuary is definitely one of those i mean i guess let's see what we got upgrade of any kind oh, i should be looking at maybe re-rolling on a flamethrower turret to get uh, deploys a toxic cloud you know getting to use that a little bit just because that is such a mm-hmm good just because that is um such an important uh, synergistic enabler and it's something that's not extremely uncommon when it comes to hmm, also a good way to keep enemies kind of in one area but uh yeah it's something that could be useful we'll see like I said, I think that most of the damage is probably going to be coming from kicking enemies into walls and then just continuously kicking enemies into the wall into walls like uh, the Punisher uh, throwing that one, what was her name, Veronica or something, into a bulletproof glass until it popped out of its frame. That's a sort of imagery that I would like to evoke here when it comes to using the Spartan sandals. Urgh, I'm mad. And I got the, and I think I, I should have gotten the bonus there. It seems like Berserker does in fact activate after you kick an enemy and they die from fall damage, which is good. Or kick an enemy and they die from wall damage, which is uh, a rhyme I just realized right now. A pretty good quality one. Uh, there's, there's some definite punnery there. It's going to take somebody smarter than myself to figure it out, but hey, if you want to, um, there's your start for uh, 
your rap song about the the Spartan sandals. And oh yeah, those guys can be lit on fire. I did forget about that. This is an interesting run. It's not one that uses that uh, you're doing damage in a traditional sort of sense. And it's defensive in a way that you wouldn't really think of it being so. After all, I'm relying a lot on Spartan Sandals. I mean, I was making fun of them for being considered a... A, um... A shield, or at least of the shield class for a while. And here I'm using them to really create some space between myself and enemies. And then also the Magnetic Grenade just being... Overall, pretty good defensively on top of that. Setting up enemies for good falls and everything like that. It's... It's a curious type of run, but it's working. And I like that. That's good. I do still think that I am going to have some trouble when it comes to late game. No question. Just because uh, it's... I, I, I'm just foreseeing myself getting hit a lot in in in, in uh, later areas entirely just because, well, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should probably do this before it spawns back up those crystals. Okay, interesting. Also, with an extra large enemy like that, hitting them into walls is even easier. So I won't be too disappointed in that at all. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's something that I never really thought about too much, but the whole positioning of magnetic grenades, especially knowing that it can hit enemies through walls and... Alright, it still activates him, but... Might actually be worth, like, taking this into a damage over time type of run and making that uh, kind of a part of that. It's got a lot of interesting sort of usages here that I never really thought all that much about. So yeah, I mean, I was t I've been talking before about like redemption arcs for, for weapons, and you're seeing it unfold before your very eyes. In a way that I didn't even think that it. Wait, what? No, no, no! I gotta check something real quick, cause it looked like the magnetic grenade stopped my turret from deploying. Let's take a look. It did. <laughs> what? <laughs> I that's a bug. <laughs> that is definitely a bug. There's no way. Is there? Well, now I'm doubting myself. I don't know if... I mean, here's the thing. When you deploy turrets, I'll give an example right here. They do come out as a grenade, so... Yeah, but... That shouldn't be affected by that sort of thing. Unless it's doing, like, double extra damage because it's a very weird type of synergy that you wouldn't really think about too much. Does it say anything? Just attracts everything nearby. Huh. I thought that was the, the launches a grenade from my Spartan sandals. But I think that might have been the flamethrower turret the entire time. Okay. Motion twin. What's going on here? Intentional? Bug or... Just curious synergy. Hidden layers to this type of weapon here. I don't know. Well, either way, it's it's not really... There we go. Good. I can't believe he didn't see me there. But yeah, it is a little bit frustrating. I, I would like to say that this isn't... This sort of build isn't as good on 5-cell mode just because... Well, you can't kick... You can't kick, like, a a lot of these enemies in spikes. It works best against single enemies. Stuff like the shield bearers really throw a wrench into the whole plans here. Failed experiments don't take damage from spikes. But still, it's like it's... Right. And no, that didn't do a ton of extra damage. So I want to say, not an intentional synergy. Not an intentional hidden synergy. Uh, in unintentional hidden dis synergy what would that even be called what is the opposite of synergy wherein they're cleaved apart I don't know but anyway 
Ugh. Well, this is not a great set of occurrences either. Anyway, you're looking at it. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. It's like... Oh, and I didn't get the 60 kills there, too. I was close, but... Nah, not happening. Okay. Let's just uh, hemorrhage once, get a good stun here, and then hit him against the wall a couple times. There we go. Very nice. And also, a, a great get. Oh, I did actually have spreads and flammable oil on enemies from the very Spartan sandals that I was using. Didn't even notice that. But, yeah, yeah forget about that. I mean, I'm going to be using 225% uh, Spartan sandals. That is a pretty nice get. If I do say so myself. And I do. All the time. Well, let's go grab a potion charge. That's probably going to be the most useful thing I can do here right now. Get the rest of the curse chests. There's a couple that I'm pretty sure I haven't seen. And really, this first boss should not be too bad. He's got walls around his arena. He's got uh, very slow movement. I think chain kicking is something that's going to be in my future here. All right. First curse chest. Can deal with it. After all, the magnetic grenade has been... Well, I might switch over to using hemorrhage. I will, will take this. Yes, please. Uh, might switch over to using hemorrhage for the time being, just due to, you know, the circumstance that I find myself in. But it's not... It's going to be but a temporary thing. And... Gotta find some place with a lot of enemies around here so that I can get the most out of my vampirism. I should do it. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good use. Should get me mostly, if not entirely, back up to full health. And... Ah, and I still got hit anyway. That was weird. Didn't really feel like I uh, got the hit there, but hey, whatever, I'll take it. And get rid of that guy, and we're good. Okay, sounds very nice. Now, I do think I got one more curse chest left, and there should be more than enough enemies to take them out. But first, I don't really need to keep vampirism with me. I just need that little bit of a pick-me-up for the time being. And then... It's, it's it's better to keep the flamethrower turret with me. There's going to be a lot more usage that I get out of that than vampirism over the course of the run. I'm mostly up to full health. I'm pretty low on malaise. It's looking good. Oh, man. It, is this just going to be like the last place that I check to find the, uh, the two-cell door here, I guess? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Let's go up and take a look. Like a little bit of a look see -loo. And right here. And... Okay, fine. I'll stop trying to predict it. But it should be around here somewhere. I can feel it in my feet. Great Emerald's power allows me to feel. And it's also really easy to feel stuff through your feet when you are only wearing sandals. Hey, think of this as like a, the summer theme type of episode. It's like we're going to the beach. Just did uh, Seasides and Celeste. And now uh, throwing on our sandals and dead cells. This is... It's a theme week on the channel. And in Persona, uh, people bullied me a lot. <laughs> so, you know, basically, like in the same way that somebody who was... Uh, being bullied on the beach. I don't know. This is a real stretch. Anyway... All right, well, that should be everything. I'll do a quick sweep around, see if I can happen to uh, find any more stats, and then get out of here. And what do we got? Yeah, we got one more chest here. Could be a curse chest. You never know. Nope. Maybe it's another vampirism. That would also be helpful, too. Or an upgrade to my... Yeah, 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 yeah. 25% damage reduction, 100% on poison, toxic cloud. A lot of good stuff going on there. 
Not as many stats, but that's that's not a huge concern. That's not something that is very important when it comes to the the run I'm working with right now. I went through the depths. I got a. At least I'm pretty sure that was this run where I got a. Um, oh, this all's pretty good too. Uh, but. Yeah, this would probably be the one to get if I was going to get any of them. I'd like having 25% damage reduction, though. Uh, I went through the depths. I got a lot of extra stats. We're looking good. For the time being. Only three points of malaise. Full potion charges. Nearly full health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I didn't actually get 60? I guess I completely missed that. I thought I screwed that up or something. I don't know. 100% damage given and taken. For firebrands, you say? <laughs> get out of here. Nah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, would this give me a lot of extra health? Not really. I mean, it's not... The affixes aren't really better or worse, so... Let's just take you and say, sure, sure. This this works out just fine for me. 12,000 health going into the first boss is pretty all right. And I just hope that it remains that way for the rest of the run. There's still a lot more to go after all. Miles to go before I sleep. Which is too bad because it is like getting close to midnight here now. Okay, stun time, and then... Okay. Uh... I mean, it's weird because his recovery animation is the same one that he makes when he's about to jump. Which is freaking me out. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, I just throw you down here. Right. Hmm, that anti-synergy. No, sir, I don't like it. Yeah, that's chunking off some health. And then, also, since he's going to be throwing up that shield a lot, this is a good, as time, good a time as any to... Uh, put down my... Hemorrhage. Put my hemorrhage to full use. He's going to eventually gain resistance to stunning. And that's when the bad stuff is going to start happening. But if until then I can... Okay. If until then I can get a good amount of hits in... I'll be... Ooh, totally happy with that. What's the legendary item is what I want to know. Because I did manage to earn one here. I mean, the legendary item that I've gotten so far is a hemorrhage, which is great. <laughs> I could not be happier with that. However... Being owed a second one here, my greed starts to rear its ugly head. <laughs> Hubris before a fall, but... I got stars in my eyes, far too many. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's... Um, I don't... Um, uh, nah, I'm gonna say no. It's probably better than the hemorrhage in some ways, but hemorrhage has stunning, it has bleed, which I don't have. I do have fire, so let's just let's just keep rolling with this. I think that I can still get a lot of use out of this weapon continuing on through the run. It's mostly just dependent on my ability to not die to curses. Which is... 90% of runs tend to go that way. So if I can avoid that, it'd be great, but... If that's my fate, I will accept it with open arms. No, I won't. What am I even saying? I will accept it complaining about it loudly on the internet. As tradition dictates. I mean, loudly, not emphatically. Don't worry, it's not gonna get... Not gonna have any, uh... Real emotional anger coming here, but I will be annoyed. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> and one more. Damage just seems... Uh, this is also a good place for uh, knocking enemies off of areas now, isn't it? 
And also for uh, countering, much like I was saying before, countering uh, the projectiles. Got, got a lot of good stuff. So I'd like to say that uh, not even thinking about it, I made a good decision. A good decision was made as far as the, the route I'm taking thus far. Whoa! Did a little bit of, like, Hanna-Barbera run there. If you started playing bongos for a couple seconds, it would have just uh, completed the the whole scene. Now, if you don't know Hanna-Barbera running, I'm talking is like, running in place. Or, ah, oh, still got me one hit there. Now, re rewind the tape, you'll see it. You'll see it, I'm not crazy, you're the crazy one. Okay. All right. Try to get him on. Ooh. That's... Well, that is actually pretty good, but... Yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah, that'll play. Um, what do we got? That, that, uh, nothing I'm really interested in. Gold as well as a cell is what I'm looking for right now. That's... If there's one thing that I would like to see, it's that. And I guess it also, um, causes and It seems like I'm getting a bunch of friendly biters from the magnetic grenade countering the eggs that the, the guys are throwing. Which I guess count as projectiles. Sure, why not? A strange way to go about doing that, but hey, it gives me friendly biters. I'm not going to oppose that. <laughs> why would I be? It's free real estate. Yuck. This is a weird mix-up of stuff happening, but it's working out okay. Did have to sacrifice potion charge here, but... Like I said, I still stand by the working out okay statement made earlier. I'm probably going to get another one by the end of this anyway. There we go. And unfortunately, that was a large enough kick that he sailed completely over the pit. It's a real, uh... You know, talking about Celeste again. <laughs> That's a move that you'll be doing there. Use that momentum to get over the area. And I didn't even get the key. Why did I not get the key? It's an important part of maneuvering through this area, after all. I shouldn't be neglecting it. I even went in front of the door and everything. How did I... Oh, boy. Well, this is probably a... I said before how this is, in general, a good... Ledges like that are good when it comes to using this weapon. Oh, yeah, that's good. Speaking of good stuff... It's like the game is just trying to get me to say good as many times as possible in a row to make me look like a fool. Not that I really, not that I really need any help with that. Uh, my idioms are constant and come out with great frequency. Well, idioms, idiomatic expressions, verbal tics, whatever you'd like to call them. It's all rock and roll to me. Anything of interest? I mean, uh, it's... I want to be a little bit careful here, but... All right, all right, all right. Enough of that. Enough of your malarkey. What do you get? It's a lower level version, and hey, if it's already, if it would already naturally be the color that you would normally be um, using, it's almost never worth taking, especially if you're doing a custom mode and you're not getting, and it's not like a particularly good weapon. All right, what else we got? I believe one more cursed chest, and like I said. Hemorrhage is going to get some great usage here, just to make sure that I'm not dying. This is, this is its time to shine, after all. Five cell only weapon? Why not let it out of its cage and let it do some work? Oh god. Oh god, why? Actually, this is working out okay. Nonetheless, that doesn't mean that... Uh, I'm not still worried. Huh. Okay, then. I 
think I actually got him there? All right. Uh, unexpected, certainly, but I'm not going to argue. Come on. Or, no, you got killed by the thing. All right, whatever. I don't understand this game sometimes. Despite constantly saying that I do. Or at least trying to imply it with the way I talk. Um, 24 is looking pretty nice. Well, you know what would look nicer? Me not about to die to curse. And yep, that, th this looks beautiful. I love the look of it. I love what you've done with the place. All right, getting close to 60. That would be good. Uh, I don't know if this would be a good uh, type of... If this, if the magnetic grenade also counters the, what are we looking at? Okay. If the magnetic grenade also counters the, the fireballs that the, the giant throws out, it could actually be worth doing that fight. But I want to say, nah. I want to say that's a bad idea. Just do a circle around here. First you draw a circle. Then you dot the eyes. Presto, it's Kirby, and also a bunch of dead biters. Okay. Come on. Last curse chest for the area. Two more curse chests in the game, and then we're not on Easy Street, but we're on Easy Er Street. The long, hard road to get here has turned into Easy Street, and I couldn't be happier. Ugh. Don't really know how I want to do this. That bomber is also going to attack me immediately. Well, are there any, like, easier enemies to take care of? Kind of? Like, this area has four... Well, the Rampager, if I get him immediately. Okay. Very nice. Okay. There, there. Okay, okay. That works. That'll play. As as said before, as continued to be said since. Oh, okay. Can't say it's not worrying when you see this. You are, as always, you're never safe in Dead Cells, but there's no time that you're less safe than with a curse. Let's grab that key. Get into the sepulcher. I want to go for huge stats. I want to go for the big stats. This is where the stats become the big stats. I could also be kicking away some of these cannonballs, but that's a that's a risky play. <laughs> and I've already had several runs tonight that were involving cursed swords, 400% damage items, a lot of fun stuff that when the stream was actually up were made for a good time, but... Uh, like dust in the wind, etc. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. Now I could just pull up the footage that I recorded of it, but eh, man, it's not that good anyway. So let's get right over to the food shop here, buy myself a potion charge, get into the next area, and see what's crack a lacking. I still don't know. Exactly. I mean, I've been pretty diligent about not getting hit this entire run. I'm at full potion charges. Almost no malaise. But I'm only at like 16,000 health, which is not that much. That's... I mean, I've, you've seen me go again, up against the final boss of this game with 80,000 plus health. And... Wasn't successful. Will that remain true here? Well, I suppose we'll see. D don't... Reconnect here, come on. Don't do that. Then I also hit the microphone too, so I'm gonna have to remember later to... Make sure to, uh, remove that audio. What do you got? Ah, da, da. It's all okay, I guess, but I'm not... I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I was kinda hoping more for an upgrade for my, uh, sandals more than anything else. That's where the real money comes in. And, uh, I'll keep rolling with what I got here. Next area is definitely the one to switch out my 
acceptance for instead taking uh, Tainted Flask and yeah, no more curse chests left in the game. We'll be looking pretty nice. Now this is a much more claustrophobic area, not nearly as many areas to kick enemies off of. But that shouldn't be a big deal. I do have a lot of pretty good AoE stuff with the bombs, with the the flamethrower turret and everything like that. So, worst comes to worst, it's going to be... Enemies will still be taken out pretty effortlessly regardless. Hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. As always, I don't really want to make any sort of bold proclamations. Pride for a fall. You've heard me say it before. You'll hear me say it again. Man, that damage against the wall is actually getting to be something fierce now, isn't it? These are just one-shotting enemies. Of course, again, I, I have made sure to go hard, real hard into stats for this run. So, I guess it's not entirely surprising that uh, weapons are starting to really blossom into a, a, a real strong set of damage dealers. But it's still shocking, because, hey, this was a weapon that back in the day, only using the completely broken way of getting stats was I able to get a decent run with this thing going. And then just kick the conjunctivious eye right out of its face. Which was a pretty good feeling, but it was still... Again, I was buffing stuff up to a, to a much larger degree than uh, the normal player would. Explicitly designing runs around that. Okay, okay. And haha, <laughs> get wrecked. What else we got down here? An interesting set of stuff going on. However, ugh, nothing worth taking. I didn't think so. Oh, come on now. Kick you right against that wall. If you're not going to go into that wall, I will make you go into that wall, mister. What else we got going on here? Two more curse chests, and here's one. Let's make sure that I have a good... Yeah, this is a good area to uh, pierce all enemies, which is okay. I don't think it's worth taking. I think I'm working just fine with the stuff I got right now. Anyway, this is a good area to take out enemies. I should be able to get rid of the curse immediately, and it'll all be totally cool. And then one more cursed chest remains for the game. Boy, I hope I don't screw it up now. Because we're sitting at almost 30 health, or 30 brutality. Past that point, it's... Once again, well, okay, that was easy. Um, but anyway, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. <laughs> uh, t let's just see what else happens at this point in the run. I'm still lacking confidence. Yeah, hits enemies through walls, of course. Can't forget about that. It's a... It's a thing that has been doing more for me than I thought it would. Ah! Knife thrower! I didn't see that one there, and then I tried to roll against the wall, but... You know, when you got two enemies attacking you like that... Doesn't work too well. No, does it? Okay, and right off the edge. Right into the wall. Ugh. All right, get back into the light then instead. There. Ugh, don't want to take too much damage. Potion charges, of course, are going to become less of a thing very soon with the whole uh, with the whole tainted flask coming up here. However, it doesn't mean that I want to be using them all willy nilly. Ugh. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to try it out. I think it should. I mean, you saw how well. Yeah. Well, here, check out my axe. Oh, okay. Well, you see you have a little bit more range on yours. Mine's still better, though. It causes bleeding. It's really cool. Okay. Yeah, able to take out enemies really easily with this with this setup. Which, again, it doesn't have the same sort of, of synergies that I would think of in the game. And yet, it's working just fine. So, I don't know. Lessons being learned, perhaps? Didn't think I was gonna fight an elite. 
Okay, good. I, I was hoping that I could find some bats there to make sure that I got rid of the curse. That's the... That's the big problem taken care of then, certainly. And then everything else will just be kicking enemies off ledges. Kicking ledges and taking names. Okay, we'll get, get out of here. I don't need any more. I, I don't need that particular distribution of stats. Woof. Last cursed chest. Last cursed chest. Last cursed time I should be having now. So from here on out, it's not going to be easy. But it is going to be sleazy. And aside from that, it's... Ugh. Yeah, attacking enemies through a wall. A real double-edged sword when it comes to um, hitting enemies maybe that you didn't want to hit. Don't even. That would be an embarrassing curse to take, especially after I was just making a big deal about how no more curses in the game. Only to curse myself with a cherry. How can I resist? It's so on brand. Take that. Whatever. I still don't like how that's um, preventing me from using my... Well, at least the um, Berserker came came in, in the clutch there for me. Good. <laughs> anyway, if I run down here... Yeah, that'll work. Once again, that will and will continue to play. Cool. Ah, uh, nah. The sort of weird distribution I got on the stats is working just fine for me right now. Okay, well, yeah. Berserker's still coming through in the clutch as far as um, preventing me from taking way too much damage and malaise from stuff. So, I am happy about that. This does seem to be almost the ideal weapon to be using with Berserker, I'd, I'd like to say. I'm just getting so much use out of it. It is... It's pretty nice. <laughs> I can appreciate that a lot. Because oft times the more powerful types of builds when it comes to okay when it comes to using brutality is going a little bit more for that's a hell of an entrance uh is going for range stuff so you don't really you know get the ability to use that a whole lot or at least as much as you liked it bam and kicking them right out of their animation yeah something i've been sleeping on a little bit is the whole ability to knock enemies out of animation I and mean, that was actually one of the things that uh, I posited was one of the reasons why you'd want to use this weapon for a really long time. The idea that you'd be able to... Sure. The idea that you'd be able to knock enemies out of their animation because leaving the ground, I thought, would prevent them from being able to attack you. Or at least prevent them from being able to, to attack you in the same way. I don't think that's actually the case, but it definitely... Huh. I don't really need that, but interesting nonetheless. I don't think it actually works that way, but it's, uh, getting a lot of breach on enemies regardless. Stun time is intense. And I'm totally okay with that. Let's roll. I don't think I got my 60, but that's fine. I don't need it. I'm doing just fine as it is. And get rid of you. Replace that with... Hmm, what do I want? Like, just go full on with tons of damage would be good, but... Also, I mean, that's a lot of bleeding. <laughs> but, uh... Nah, I don't think I really need that. That's a lot of extra damage, but no. Berserker's great. I think, like, Vengeance would be better, though, if I was going to take anything. Let's just go with full-on tank build. 40,000 health uh, gives me a lot more confidence in my ability to take care of a lot of the, the issues that I'm going to be coming up against soon enough. So let's do this. And then probably at the start of the fight, or very close to the start of the fight, I'm going to use my potion charge. Of course. Oh, you say. All right, well, that was a completely pointless hit to take there. But at the same time, it's like, I, yeah, I knocked her right out of that, didn't I? Didn't I now? Oh, 
Oh, I was really hoping that I might have been able to. There we go. I was really hoping that I might have been able to kick her into the door before she was able to golf swing me, but no such luck. Oh, well. Now the, um... Uh, first off. 15% uh, healed. Yes, please. Second off, don't need that. And third off, let's just go. Probably gonna have to use the potion charge coming up here. I really don't see... I don't have any other ability to heal, after all. Tainted Flask is kind of where all of the... The money is going. And you'll only need one flask charge at any point. Yeah, alright. I'm getting a little bit more worrying here. But I also knew that the assassin, uh, the timekeeper, is a fast enemy. And she hits pretty hard and pretty constantly. And this is not a hugely fast weapon. It's a decently fast weapon, but could be better. Alright, let's use some of that damage to do some good stuff. This is some pretty good stuff, by the way. Ah, I thought I got the Rampager there, not quite. Ah, get him while he's frozen! Get him while they're getting z and there he goes! <laughs> oh, I hope I can grab that for the thumbnail. <laughs> Rampagers, for whatever reason, they they have that issue with them now, don't they? <laughs> it's uh something about rampagers. Just uh unlocks their potential, their hidden potential, and they can fly. They can finally fly. It's incredible. And really stupid. All right, okay. Ah, too many enemies up here. Of course. Well, here, get kicked in the spikes. How about that? Nope, there's another one that saw me. Okay, I managed to not get hit by, uh, by a ball and chain. That's a victory. <laughs> as, as always. Oh, boy. All right, what do we got? Now, 32 brutality is where it goes to a... Oh, of course. 32 Brutality is where it goes to a single Elite giving you back a Potion Charge. I don't know if I even want... Well, I'm getting extra stats here. This is bonus statage after all. Nope. Before he even starts to do anything. Bam. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Uh, let's Let's do it. Another three three tactics, which is interesting. And we down to one now? No, not... That, so the person that told me that it was 32 lied then, eh? Which is what I'm hearing right now. And it's actually like 35 as I thought it was for, in the first place. Well... Oh, well, it does give me another pretty huge damage increase, so I guess I can't be too sad. Still, I was kind of hoping that I would get a real overpowered Tainted Flask out of that. Oh, well, maybe next time. Or maybe next uh, set of scrolls. I don't think I'm going to be going for that, but... Hey, it's not impossible. Right into the wall. Good stuff right there. And since I don't even want to deal with that guy, it's just not worth the time. Oh, boy. Let's just do this a couple times and see if... No, he's already been taken out. Okay, fine then. Let us continue. Yeah, I know, like I said, I don't want to rely too heavily on Hemorrhage. It's just, you know, smoke him if you got him. Am I right? High five. Okay, doing pretty good. Get that stun time in there. And get that prevent being hit time in there. Good, good. Like that. 
So now I got a clear exit route. Again, stun time. And then one kick right into the poison cloud will do it. Okay. What are we even looking at? I mean, we're looking at me going in here. I need that. I need those keys. The keys are important. That's a whole extra stat. That's like 5,000 plus health coming up here. That's how much I would be giving up if I don't get all three of those keys. However, it's still putting myself in a decent amount of danger. Okay, that was weird looking. Did I just kill all those enemies by uh, kicking kicking the, uh, the Guardian Knight into them? Which, I mean, I'm not opposed. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Thankfully, due to that rampage, you're blowing up into a bunch of frost. That's only good for me. Yeah. These guys teleporting and rolling around is definitely not doing me any favors, but... Well, that's why I got hemorrhage, after all. Isn't it? Well, I got hemorrhage because it's a flagrantly overpowered type of weapon, especially in this circumstance. And there we go. One more up. A bunch more enemies down. Yep, going pretty alright. Be careful. Rampagers, as always, I don't know how that Rampager got kicked off in that direction, but that's what happened. <laughs> Um, anyway. I, I don't know. Let's just find that third key. Blue door. Uh, alchemic laboratory. And, you know. The key to all my hopes and dreams. I guess I might as well go for one of them. I don't know. Sure, why not. But yeah, third key. And then it should be golden. For... Grams, but also to get out of here and get into the next area. How's it? How is this going to go against the hand of the king? Well, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. Man, those demons just do did not stand a chance, did they? I think that those guys are also uh, a type of enemy pretty susceptible to the magnetic grenade on top of that. So that's only better for me, if anything. <laughs> being flying and all that, and generally not being very good at flying, considering how often they tend to fall. Can't believe how much use I'm getting out of that freeze enemies when they, uh, when they die. Well, a lot more than I expected to, certainly. Oh, cool. That was a good kick on that bomb. And let's just keep going. Nope. Don't even. Stop doing that. Yeah, uh, the giant in, in behind the king there, as usual. Oh, there is another area behind it, though. Should go check that out before I get out of here. It's probably just... No, it's nothing. All right. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? That's kind of big, the question. Did the Was the giant ever not undead? Because <laughs> he's always been depicted as a gigantic skeleton. And I thought that was just, you know, a result of... Rah! No, not whatever I just said there. As a result of the whole malaise thing. But, uh, might have also just always been a skeleton. <laughs> I don't know. There's another avenue for where the, the malaise came from. This weird immortal giant guy that you got hanging around. And kick one more. Oh, it still got me anyway. Just the once, but that's enough, you know? It's enough to wound my pride, if not my body. Well, also my body. I mean, it, you can't wound only your pride in this game. Yeah, let's just... Better safe than sorry. And let's not even worry about getting the kicks in. Getting in my sweet kicks. Okay, yeah, three keys should be good to go. I already used one on the door. There's like vampirism over there and everything, but I'm not. I'm not gonna fret too much. 
There's a clear path to the exit. I'm not going to give up on that right now. So, bam, and what do we got in the final area? I mean, I could use an upgrade, sure. Why not? Uh, nah. Not necessary. You might be good, though. Inflammable oil. I'll take it for the inflammable oil. I'd say 30% uh, on burning, 100% on poison. There's good stuff going on there. Sure, sure, sure. I think that can work. I mean, we'll... As always, it's just I d never want to count those chickens. Dead Cells turns on a dime. You can bounce a dime off that Dead Cells. And that's why you never want to make... You, you never want to tempt fate in any way. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got here? I mean, I can actually kick this guy now, so maybe it'll be totally fine. Also, hey, nice suit. Did you notice how cool mine is, too? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And he just jumps right out of there. Okay, okay, then. <laughs> Oh, I should remember the, the magnetic grenade is going to work pretty effectively on this. But yeah, the... Unfortunately, it seems like, uh... Nothing else is. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. He, he can prevent some, uh, cheesing. <laughs> Fair enough. I understand. I, I see where you're coming from, although I disagree. Ugh. Well, that's awkward, certainly. The elites jumping directly in front of. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's more what I was looking at. Wow. Okay. Note to self, the magnetic grenade does some work. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so, so if you're looking for a good way to perfect the hand of the king, the magnetic grenade, when he starts throwing down bombs, does, like, d d mad damage, yo. <laughs> Jeez. All right, well, that's going to be something to remember for the future. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that is the the requirements for fulfilling... Uh, 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 that fulfills the requirements for a showcase run, but that's not the end here. Still got to at least give an attempt here in the Astrolab. Ah. Now I'm ready. I'm about as ready as I'm going to be. It's not a strong run damage-wise. It's a strong run in the very strange utility that I've managed to... ...somehow, uh, make work. And once again, with the ability to... Alright, fine, I can also hit you into the walls. That works too. It works just as well, if not better, for me. But, uh, yes, th there's a lot of areas here to kick enemies into. So, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're still looking pretty for that. Okay. Easy first key. And just, like, hammer this guy against the wall. Going to be pretty, pretty easy kill. Yeah. Elevator key. Just need the alien key, and we should be good. Ugh, a little bit awkward areas to maneuver around in here, but this should do it. Yep, and yeah, there we go. Now the the cherry survived. Okay, cool. Oh wait, I didn't even have any malaise right there. 
well, she's fine. I don't care anyway. <laughs> it wasn't even that big of a deal to me. Those cherries were sour anyway. Oh, that still hit me. I am disappointed in myself. Okay. What do we got? Two keys left. A lot more opportunities for getting elites. Really can't prevent those guys from... Really can't kick those guys off of any ledges, can you? But that's fine. I have more than enough uh, other ways of making them talk. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, if I can make this a quick astrolab, I would not be disappointed in that. Get out. Those guys can teleport, but not... Vi what was that? Come on. I like doing the opposite thing as the rampagers there. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I want to have easier kills against you guys and not get killed myself. Is it such a bad thing? Get out of here. Um, well, I guess I'll go find that magistrate later on, because, <laughs> um, expect that to be a weird brick joke eventually. Uh, why not? Oh, and I got hit anyway. Yeah, frustrating, but not unexpected. Get out. Can you fly, birdie? Okay, flask charge, very nice. I'll take it. Lose out on damage from projectiles, but that's fine. Now, there, how about that then? Once again, this is a weapon that is pretty silly, if nothing else. <laughs> that's pretty good. But anyway. And yep, again, definitely a place where the whole kicking gimmick is coming in handy more than more than other places, certainly. What you got? Nice quality weapon, inflammable oil, sounds good, but I lose out on the poison, and I might need that. I think I'm gonna stick with what I got right now. Just the the better decision here. Okay, so there is a spiked shield way down there. Interesting. I guess that's a legendary. I'm going to go take that. Yeah. I think that's something that would work. And there it is. <laughs> oh, that was like, not e I didn't even need to kick him anywhere. <laughs> it's just already gone. Anyway, uh, damage inflicted sounds great. 73,000 sounds even better. Yeah, it's a legendary weapon. Okay, cool. Uh, hemorrhage is great and everything, but come on. Where, uh, Where's all my goodies, by the way? I would like to have all my good, good items. Anyway. Okay, this has got to be where the end is. I do also think that worst comes to worst, a spiked shield is going to help a lot when it comes to the final boss fight. If I can't quite seem to do it with my, uh, with the actual weapon this run is supposed to be about, I can definitely do it with a spiked shield. That's going to be, and that's my trump card, so we'll see kind of how it goes. But if nothing else, I do have something here. Okay. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> every time that amuses me so much. Just uh, just throw on a slide whistle sound effect, and and you get to exactly what's going through my mind whenever I see that happen. Although there is also that second where I'm like, am I gonna get the key? Cause I need that key. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I don't want to worry anybody, but I do need that key. 
Okay. All right, come on. I'm going to get a guaranteed one more one more potion charge. I can take a little bit of damage here. I I um, I can take a little bit of damage here, not that much. Let's just do it. All right. And done. Okay. I mean, I I I do fa basic I, I do basic trap dodging all right when it comes to this area. There's no ball and chains up here, which is the most important thing. Okay, fine. Then I'll have that extra potion charge, and then hopefully I'll be fine going into the next fight here. Or I might be able to just get lucky and instead get another one before we even end here. In fact, I will, because this is uh, the double elite guys, double trouble. Which, again, fine by me. Very nice. Uh, da, da, da. I mean, this is okay, but I don't really need uh, Super Mario mode or anything right now. Oof. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Again, got one more potion charge here. Oh, you're... <laughs> Goodbye. That's... Yeah, I didn't even make it to the, to the bottom here. Just uh, burst into flames, I guess. Uh, it's kind of a last-ditch self-destruct effort. Oh, come on now. There we go. So am I going to be able to hit the final boss into, well, anything? That's the real question now, isn't it? Ah, still got me anyway. It's like one little hit. My mom got scared. See, bringing it all back. <laughs> okay. Maybe a legendary item? Maybe a... Oh. No. Well, it's actually still down there, so not too bad. But, uh... A worrying thing for a second, as I'm sure you could hear by my very emphatic no. Okay, come on, come on. Getting hit so much. Getting sloppy right at the last second here. Now, it doesn't matter. Got lucky with an elite, so... I should survive, but... And I missed the door. I, I missed the, the button for the door again. That's something that, that prevented me from getting the Thunder Shield blueprint for the first time. You gotta watch out for that. Okay, what else we got going on here? Like I said, the most important thing is that I have the shield. Well, let's go get that stat, though. It's, it's just free stats, basically. I might as well. Very nice. And whatever, that works, too. Ugh, a lot of extra health to be had. Well, 10% extra health, which puts me up to near 90k. So, that's not an insignificant amount in any way. And let's go. One more potion charge. And I'm ready to take on the world. And I'm ready to cheese this fight out as always. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A quality fight cheese. No question. All right. What you got? <laughs> I am curious as to how this is about to go. Because I don't know. This is a this is an interesting weapon. And I do have a plan. I certainly have a plan. Is it good enough, though? I suppose we'll see. Is there anything else that I could do? Uh, slow down. Won't be able to infect you with malaise. Maybe. I think that vengeance is pretty much my best bet. And then dead inside. The usual suspect says you know. So, <laughs> let's see. 
almost an hour long, so pretty much par for the course as far as getting here, but uh, nearly two hours. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Mr. Collector, is it time for my medicine? I trust you to tell me when that, whenever that's the case. Oh, great. I was wondering. Okay, come on now. Ha! <laughs> Actually, I do... Oh, right, the stun time. That is a thing now, isn't it? Okay. Alright. I don't know. I mean, it's working okay. Getting some damage here. But you really do have to get him in the corner. He doesn't... I mean, much like in the way that... What the... Who's was that even? Much in the same way that nobody puts Baby in the corner. Nobody puts Collector in the corner. Okay. Well, while he's stunned like that, that does uh, open up some good opportunities for doing that, if nothing else. <laughs> Alright, well, there's one. Which I guess is something. And he's no longer taking stun time from the shoes, though, which is going to make this a lot more difficult. Yes, of course. Oh, actually, it seems like each phase, he's it's kind of a different... It's, it seems like it's a different um, stun timing, so that you can stun him for quite a time here. Okay. Ah, uh, should I heal here? Not yet. Soon, but not yet. Just keep hammering on him, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I should heal. I'm getting cold feet here. I was kind of hoping that it was going to go back to the... Uh, some sort of phase that would allow me a lot of extra damage here. But I'll take whatever, man. Okay, we good? We've had enough of that already? Ah, uh, okay. Don't be a golem. It's a golem. <laughs> oh, come on. I hate that so much. I hate it when you're not doing that much damage and he's able to go through phases like this. Like, come on. We're so close here, dude. Why you gotta do me like this? Just freaking let me have a win here. This is a hard game. I wanna just, just want a good win. Okay, okay, fine. Last area? Yes, okay, good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's good parry. Come on. Oh, I feel like I'm so close here. Come on, can I just... No. Really ain't making this easy, are ya? Oh, great. No. Oh, man. That's too bad. But, I mean, when you don't have very good DPS against the, the Collector, it's like he can just wear you down with the amount of phases that you need to go through. Real close. But, I mean, I think that, yeah, that shows off the weapon pretty well. Good, but still some issues against bosses.